G'day everybody and uh, welcome back. So after our somewhat uh, stunning stay at Heron Hill Winery through Harvest Host, we realised that Harvest Host stayovers probably aren't a bad thing. So we hit the road again uh, out of Heron Hill, uh, which took us down through part of New York State and into Pennsylvania. It took us down some pretty stunning roads uh, on the way to a brewery by the name of Irving Cliff Brewery, which is also a Harvest Host site. Uh, we realised however uh, pretty quick that if we had wanted to do or needed to do a three-point turn on any of those roads, because maybe the van didn't fit under a bridge or there was an issue on that road, we were going to have some real challenges a 31 foot camper with a 9 foot trailer on the back of it. Um, so we had a chat to uh, a couple of other RVs who we met down at uh, River Cliff Brook and they said to us, well, there are some other apps uh, out there other than just Google Maps. Maybe you want to give them a go. So we got on to this one, which was um, called uh, Copilot. Um, had two weeks free nav initially and then if you like it you can buy it. Uh, once again Irving Cliff Brewery, beautiful little town, uh, very situated and uh, the people were really cool. So the next part of our journey was going to take us um, from that part of the world back out of Pennsylvania into New York State, into a, um, uh, into a campground which is actually a state park I believe, Marlin Dickinson Reserve. The reason we chose this one is because it was on the outskirts of New York City. And it meant that we could get on a train, travel into New York, without having to concern ourselves with how we would get through New York. And so that's what we did. Next, uh, next chapters uh, all about New York City.